people often ask about DIY, getting into it, and everyone covers it on YouTube pretty well. They talk about getting tools, manuals, watching YouTube videos, um, but what they don't usually touch on is getting parts, because a huge part of fixing vehicles yourself is the savings you get from doing it. Because I just fixed my head gasket for $50 with shipping, and that's not the price you're going to get if you go to your local auto parts store. A mechanic's not going to give you that kind of price, even just for the parts themselves. And if you go to somewhere like Canadian Tire, you'll probably still be charged three or four times that price. So I'm going to show you the site that I use to get the parts, and I usually recommend the site to everyone. Okay, so here is the Rock Auto website. Uh, it's a little bit old-fashioned in its styling, but uh, the interface is easy to use, and that's really the most important thing. Uh, so on the left, you see right away all the different brands. You click through, you can see different years. You pick a year and then a model and so on. Um, so we're just going to go be fast here. You can type it in right at the top. Uh, let's pick a random car. Yeah. That one's common and somewhat interesting. Um, let's do 2006. If there's nothing else you're going to do, I recommend that you do your oil changes and your you know, air filter and stuff changes because it's easy to do and you can save a lot of money doing it. We have a video on that, I guess, now that I think about it. So you can even buy oil right on their website. Interesting. Anyway, so oil filters. Um, as you can see, they are quite a bit cheaper than somewhere like Canadian Tire. What did we say? 2006 Mazda Rust Bucket. Give me a price, please. And see, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. They say from $5.99, but I haven't seen a single oil filter that they're selling for less than like $8. Uh, and this one doesn't even have the case on it. This is just paper and, like, the paper medium and the top. It, like, it's... There's not much to these. Anyway, $8.29 plus whatever fee. That's uh, markedly higher, you know. That's literally four times more than the cheapest one you can buy here. And it's not as if Fram is a great... Uh, or known for its quality these days. You can see down here, it's got a lot more pleats. It's not, it's not the full story, but you can see pictures of it. You can look up the info on here, which is nice. Uh, sometimes it'll give you uh, alternate part numbers down there. Uh, and if you click on the little thing, it'll tell you what vehicles it fits. As you can see, there's quite a number of vehicles that use the same oil filter. Not as many as some. But uh, this is an internal oil filter, so it's going to be a little bit more specific. All right, so I've added it to the cart with a random postal code. You can see shipping is $9, so the total is 11 So if you only buy one or two of a very cheap product, you're not really going to be saving money. So what you obviously want to do is you want to buy a few at a time. Most of you aren't planning on getting rid of your car immediately. If you are, maybe don't buy them online right now. I can show you my some of my tricks for doing this. Okay, quantity, let's say 10 oil changes. That'll give you, you know, five years or something, depending on frequency of driving. So as you can see, shipping is now $11.00 or 13 with FedEx. You have your shipping options here, which is really nice. And you can see the dates side by side, so you're not just paying more for a date that's not actually that much better. This isn't a good example, but sometimes you'll get the cheapest shipping date will arrive one day or the same day as the fastest shipping. There's no point spending $40 on something you can get away with less. Anyway, so watch this number here, and uh, it's 11.74. You can pick a number what was the lowest number? Nine? Nine is what it started at, so ten, so that's only a little bit more. There are different quantities at which it makes sense to buy. Okay, so two, you can get two for the same shipping price. If you get three, uh, it's still the same. So obviously, three is most bang for your buck at that price, 
but um, did I say four? Yeah. You'll see as you increase the number uh, that it'll jump up. Uh, when you hit that one point, the shipping price changes. So it's now 1044. So a few cents more. Now it doesn't really make sense to buy four, but it bu makes sense to buy as many as you can until it bumps up to the next number, which I believe was six. So it bumps up to 1174 at uh, by a whole dollar at eight. The, the key to doing this is at the end of your order, you play with the quantities until you can find the most that you're, you can get for the cheapest per unit cost. You, you basically want to push it until the big jump, because a dollar isn't a big jump for this, but you'll hit a point sometimes and it'll be a difference between one and it'll cost 10 bucks and then you get one more and suddenly it's 25 and you're like, mm, maybe I don't want that extra one. That's, that's how you play with that. Let me just calculate that out here. $3.71 per, which is so less 884. Okay, so you're saving $5.12 per oil filter. Obviously to buy seven oil filters from your local auto parts store, it's $26 versus $61. So as you can see, like immediately, just for oil filters, something you routinely buy, you're saving a significant amount of money, even with shipping. You can see the same things basically with air filters. Sometimes air filters are even more of a difference because you can pick them up again for like a dollar or two, whereas an air filter from your parts store might be probably around 15 to $18. So there's, there's yeah, there's the price of the Fram air filters, $17. The K&N is extremely expensive because it's K&N. And the cheapest filter is $15. And you can see with videos on Engineering Explained or with Project Farm, where Project Farm's video is a little bit more thorough, uh, he tests the different filtration qualities of a variety of filter brands. And you can see that price isn't necessarily an indicator of quality. And again, Fram is not a value buy. It's expensive for the quality. So $6 filter versus $16. Again, you can save money there. And yeah, we'll add a couple of these in here. You got to play with your cart quantities once you have different objects in there because it'll change the shipping price. You want to pick the best number of each and play with it. And that's how you can really minimize your order. So I'll show you another feature, which is really nice about this site. Rock Auto, how it works is it has a whole bunch of different warehouses that it's partnered with, uh, and then it'll order those parts from different locations and ship them to you either in a single package or separate packages. Uh, and as you can see here, Oil filters are coming from one location and the air filters are coming from another. Now the really cool feature that they added uh, a number of years ago was back here and you see this little truck icon. It shows that this part ships from the same location as something in your cart. And that's just because we already have this part in the cart and these other ones do not. So none of these filters ship from the same location as the oil but back up to here, you can see now that these two obviously ship from the same location. Uh, this one will ship from, stop doing things. Okay, and then you can see these down here as well will ship from something in your cart. So that can make the, a lower price by having items shipped from the same locations. All right, what else would you normally buy? Well, you have your engine air filter, you have oil filters, the next one that they always ask you about when you go to get your oil changed is your cabin air filter. And that is, you know, something you want to change now and then. Um, is It's really only a problem once it starts smelling mildewy or if you check it and it's horrendously dirty. Um, like someone I know. Oh no, it'll be in heating and air conditioning. There we go. Cabin air filter. There. Five bucks. And I'm using Canadian Tire because it is for us, one of the cheapest alternatives, obviously certain parts will be cheaper at different places by a little bit, but more or less it gives you a very representative idea. Okay, so this one is $35. $35 for a cabin air filter. That's what they're trying to squeeze out of you. It's, it's not significantly different than your engine air filter, um, but that's what they want. And here you can get it for Let's just, let's just calculate that out just so I can show you the exact number with no question uh, as to how much cheaper this is. Let's, let's throw it in the cart and we'll say with shipping, 
just how much it is by itself with shipping. Okay, so those quantities are now zero. This is one. We're buying one cabin air filter, $13 shipping, total of $19.84 shipped. Okay, so $34.99 divided by $19.84 is one point, it's almost double the cost of buying one single filter online. Now, of course, because the filters are so cheap, you can, again, do the same thing. Buy a couple... Now, again, you don't have to change this very often, so you don't get nearly as many as you get. Okay, oil filters generally need to be changed probably, yeah, let's say, let's say two to three times is a comfortable change. Uh, if you don't live in a dusty climate, you may not have to change your engine air filter very often at all. Same with your cabin air filter. So, but again, if you're going to have your car for a long time, then, you know, if you have three cabin air filters, you'll be pretty much set. Okay. So you can get three air filters shipped from the States. So if you live in the States, this is way cheaper for you because the international shipping is always a lot more expensive. It's still cheaper to buy three than one single air filter from your parts store. Now again, it will vary from brand to brand, but almost universally, it's cheaper to buy online, for an ex especially for an expensive part, than it is um, at your auto parts store. If you want to buy a cheap thing and you only need one, just get it from your auto parts store. If you need like a little bearing that's two bucks online, you're going to be paying like $10 or $15 shipped anyway. So if it's $16 to just get it that day at your auto parts store, do that. But if they have to order it in and it's going to take them a week, you might as well buy it online because that happens a lot. Anyway, moving on. So I'll show you this other feature. So we'll go to continue shopping uh, and say, say you were like me, you need to get a new cylinder head gasket. So I was going to show you this cool feature. So it says choose for me to minimize cost. You click on that. It gives you a bunch of alternates. Um, so say we're just getting the head gasket, even though that's unrealistic. Uh, you pick all of them. And it will do all the weird management for you in figuring out which one is cheapest to get with the other stuff that you're ordering. Now we say add to cart. Okay, and it's picked the ultra power one because that's the same as uh, our air filter that or cabin air filter that we're ordering. Let's go to four with this just for hypothetical sake. And we'll see. Okay, so sometimes this will change because there will be a cheaper alternative. But if, if you really don't like this brand, you can just say, no, I don't want this in the cart. And then I'll pick the next best alternative. Say, and then say, yes, this one is acceptable to you. It's a lot more expensive though, but uh, it's the next best alternative is what they say with shipping calculated in. Because as you can see, that one's only 19. You'd assume it's cheaper to package. And as you can see, the slightly better shipping option is cheaper than the slowest one. So again, it's nice to be able to see the prices, the times they're delivered, and not just being like, yeah, do you want this shipping, this shipping, and this shipping? So they've done a very good job with that, which I really appreciate. Um, it's definitely made things easier over the years. But I will say that with this function where, where it gives you alternates and picks the best one for you, there is a little bit of room to massage that better. So if you really want to, you can play with the numbers, the order quantities, and you can play with where items are coming from to get your order total down to the smallest number. It makes more sense to mess around with the different numbers when you have a smaller order that's expensive than it does with a really large order with a lot of different parts. Although that's when you'll probably see more difference from playing with that. So yeah, uh, that's that. The one other thing I will show you is on some of these parts, as you can see here on spark plugs, it's got this little drop down window. And yeah, there's an actual little pop up here now that will explain how this works. And it's just saying that it's $2.60 when you buy it in packages of six. And that price is for individual, not for the pack of six, but for the each individual spark plug. So as you can see, it's got a quantity of six here. And if you t tap the button, it'll give you 12. So it'll give you two packages. So anyway, you can see in groups of six, it's $2.60 each. Now, normally 
It's cheaper to buy them in a pack than it is to buy them individually, but for some reason lately, it's been cheaper to buy them individually, because obviously, why would you get it in a pack of six when you could just order six of them at 30 cents less, well, 29 cents less each? Obviously, you should do that. So anyway, there are sometimes going to be issues you run into on the site with wording. You used to be able to call them and ask to double check things. They had a fantastic customer service line. Now it's even hard to find uh, where their customer service is. Uh, if they want to stay such a well-regarded site, they should really work on that. I know they want to cut down their costs, but customer service is pretty important, especially when you're buying things blind. But I've been buying from them basically since, I don't know, 2008, 2009. I've been happy with them. They have a really good return policy. Often they will just send you another part because it's not cost effective for them to pay for shipping a cheap part back to them. Okay, so I just removed a bunch of wedding invitations and now you can see these are all magnets that I received from Rock Auto, and you get them when you make an order, which is kind of cool if you like collecting random pictures of cars. These are all cars that, uh, as it says, built with Rock Auto parts. Anyway, these are, these are other people who like to work on their cars. Uh, they've taken pictures and they shared them with Rock Auto, and I think that's pretty cool. The last, I don't know, four shipments I've gotten haven't included a magnet, which makes me pretty sad, Rock Auto. What's with that? Um, I suspect it's actually probably something to do with the minimum order threshold that you have to hit before they give you a magnet, because that's the only difference I can see. Like, in the last order I made, I got a whole bunch of magnets because it was a huge, like, thousand dollar order for a bunch of cars. But yeah, anyway, magnets, small benefit to Rock Auto. Let's get back to looking at their site. So yeah, anyway, as you can see, this is how you save a lot of money buying parts online. and. Rock Auto doesn't have a lot of performance parts. This is mostly just, you know, replacement stuff, stuff for working on your cars. If you want other parts, uh, you can check around. I think Jags finally is selling internationally, which would be a decent place to look at, as well as Summit Racing. Uh, but neither of those I have been nearly as happy with as Rock Auto so far. But again, it's not perfect. You will run into problems now and then with Rock Auto. Just be clear with them. On occasion, they will just briefly glance at your thing, send you a boilerplate response, and if that boilerplate response doesn't really line up with what your problem is, make sure you respond and again, be clear, be polite, and try to explain how your situation is not the same as what was assumed, and they will probably be receptive. And as long as they stay that way... So if people want, I might cover, you know, a basic tool set, what you should have in it. That's been pretty well covered on YouTube, but hey, you know, um, YouTube is extremely derivative, and why not? It'll just depend on if I'm being lazy and bored again, like I am today. So next video, we'll be back to fixing stuff, and see you guys then.